Hey guys, what's up? It's 089 County 210. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a candy penguin. This is a really tiny um, tutorial, so it should only be in one part. So what you're going to need, you're going to need 19 white beads, you're going to need 19 black beads, and you're going to need one orange bead. Alright, so um, for the first thing, you're going to take both ends of the string, and then you're going to put them together like that so that the ending of your string looks like that and then uh, you're going to put one of the black you're going to take two black beads so you're going to put one black bead on one of the strings and you're going to put the other black bead on the other string and then move it down then you're going to take a white bead and put it on both of the strings so that it looks like that move it down so the bottom looks like that. Alrighties, and then what you're going to do is you're going to take two white beads, you're going to put a white bead on the top string and a white bead on the bottom string, move it down, then you're going to take one white bead, put it on both of the strings, and move it down, and then you're going to take a white bead and an orange bead, you're going to put the white bead on one of the strings and you're going to put the orange bead on the other string. It doesn't matter what color you put on what string. And then you're going to take a white bead, put it on both of your strings, and then move it down. Then you're going to take two white beads, put one white bead on one of the strings and the other white bead on the other string, move it down, take one of the white beads, Put it on both of your strings and move it down. And then you're going to take a two white uh sorry. Then you're going to take two black beads, put one of the black beads on one of your strings, and then put the other black bead on the other string. And then just move those down. I just lost it. Okay. And move it down. So it should look like that. So now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna move it down and tighten it so there's no, you know, big gaps in it. So it looks like so it looks like that, and then you're just going to tie it up. So I would recommend tying it up about three or four times. Alright, so once you're done tying it, um, you're going to make sure that these uh, strings are facing in this direction, and you're also going to make sure that this orange bead is face up. So it would look like that. Alright, and now what you're going to do is you're going to take one of your strings, preferably the one that's facing more upwards, and you're just going to move it through, string it through this black bead here. Then you're going to string on a white bead, and string it through the following white bead. And then you're going to string on another white bead, string it through this orange bead. Then you're going to string on another white bead, string it through the following white bead. And then you're going to string on another white bead, and you're going to string it through this black bead here. So it would look like that. And now what you're going to do is you're going to string on a black bead and you're going to string the black bead through this white bead here. And then you're going to string on a... So string on a... pick up a black bead, string it on your string, and then string it through this following white bead. Then you're going to pick up a, another black bead, string it onto your string, and string it through this white bead here, the following white bead. Then you're going to pick up a, another black bead, string it onto your string, and string it through the following white bead. And now you're going to pick up a black bead, but you're just going to set it down beside you because you're not going to string it onto your string yet. So this part is a little bit complicated. All you're going to do is string it through this black bead here with no beads on your string. Um, 
All right, and then once you've strung it through this black bead here, you're just going to string on your black bead. So string it onto your string at this point. And then you're just going to string it through this white bead here. And then you're going to string it down through this bottom white bead. So this one here. Then you're just going to string it through this middle black bead here. And then you're just going to string it into this black bead that you just strung on. And then after that, you should have this black bead on. Alright, so now you're going to string, pick up a white bead, string it onto your string, and string it through this black bead here. And then string, pick up another white bead, string it onto your string, and string it through this black bead here. Pick up another white bead, string it onto your string, and string it through this black bead here. And then you're just going to pick up another white bead and then string it to the, through the following black bead here. So it would look like that. And now you're just going to pick up another black bead, string it onto your string, and string it through this black bead here. And then you're going to pick up a white bead, string it onto your string, and string it through this white bead. Then you're going to pick up a black bead, string it onto your string, and string it through this black uh, white bead here, sorry. And then you're going to pick up your last black bead, or your last uh, white bead, sorry. So this should be your last white bead. String it onto your string, and string it through this white bead here. Alright, and then here's another complicated part. So you're just going to string your string through this black bead here with no beads on your string. And then you're going to string on a black bead, and then you're just going to string it through this white bead right here. And then you're going to string the string down through this white bead right here. And then you're going to string the string through this black bead right here. And then string it up into this black bead you just strung on. So at this point you should only have six black beads left. So I'm just going to pause it here and get some more string. Alright, so I just attached more string on. Um, okay, so now you should have about six black beads left. So you're just going to string a black bead onto your string and string it through this white bead here. And then you're going to string on another black bead, and then you're just going to string it through this following... Sorry, it's not even on camera. String it through this following black bead here. And then you're going to string on another black bead and string it through this white bead here. Then you're going to string on another black bead string it through this black bead here. Alright, and now what you're going to do is you're just going to string it up through this black bead here with no beads on your string. And then you're just going to string on a black bead and string it through this black bead here.
And then you're going to pick up another black bead, string it onto your string, and string it through this black bead here. And now you should have one black bead left, so you're just going to string it onto your string, and then string it through this black bead here. So then there's the finished um, part of the panda, or I mean the uh, penguin. Alright, so one of your strings should be here. We haven't used this string. And then the other bead should be here, should be coming out of this black bead. So we're going to have to get these together so we can tie it. So all you're going to do is you're going to take the string that you were using and you're just going to string it through this black bead here. This one near like the top. Top left. Alright, and then you're just going to string the string through this one going in this direction like this. And then you're going to string it through this, um, this bead here, this black bead, going in this direction. So take the end of the tip and go in here, and then out this way. So then these ones will be close together. And now all you got to do is just tie it, and then you'll be done. So let's tie it up. Tied about three or four times and then cut these off. And then there's your finished product a candy penguin. So I hope I explained that well. Um, if you liked it, leave it a like. If you want to see more tutorials from me in the future, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next video, next tutorial. Um, yes, yeah, so peace out.